Yo, what's going on everybody? Today, I'm gonna to be making a how to get more FPS in Roblox video. If this video does end up helping you guys out, be sure to leave a like and even a comment down below and telling me the results that you guys ended up with. I can guarantee you after you do all these optimizations, you will definitely have more FPS in really any game you play. So let's get into the first tip right now. All right, so the first tip is actually gonna be in your Roblox settings. You just press escape, go to settings and go to graphics quality. Make sure it is on the lowest possible quality because if it isn't, you're losing out on FPS. The higher the quality, the less FPS, very simple. The next thing you guys are gonna need to get more FPS from Roblox is an FPS unlocker. This is allowed by Roblox and every game on Roblox, you will not be banned for this. There will be a link to the download in the description. All you have to do is click the link, press download and you guys will be good. One thing that I did forget to mention while I'm editing this video is that you also need to download WinRAR, which will also be in the description right above the FPS unlocker. So now that we got that all out of the way, I'm actually going to demonstrate how to download it and set it up. Alright, so I just clicked download and... Alright, but all jokes aside, sometimes it will say that it's a virus or it's not commonly downloaded and it may be dangerous. So what you have to do is press Control J or go to your downloads and press keep. It is not a virus. There's virus total. You can do everything you want. So press keep, keep anyways, and it will be downloaded. All right, once you guys have it installed, it should look a little something like this. You're gonna want to right click it, press extract files, press okay, and you guys will have a folder. You're gonna wanna open the folder and then you have the FPS unlocker. You can open it before or after you open Roblox. It really doesn't matter. Whenever you open it, it should look a little something like this. Sometimes it may say you have an update if it's not updated yet. Usually it will just close and that means it's working. Go to your taskbar, click the little arrow at the bottom or the Roblox icon. You just gotta right click it, go to FPS cap, make sure it's either on none or something higher than 60 so you can get more FPS. And yeah, that's basically it for the FPS unlocker. Let's get on to the next tip. All right, so the next tip is gonna be something called Alt Enter. Basically what it does is give you true full screen, which results in lower input delay and your game just feels a whole lot smoother. So what you guys are gonna do is press Windows key and R or go to search and type run. Once you open it, you're gonna type percentage local app data percent. Press okay. All right, so basically you're gonna to wanna to find Roblox and click it. After you click Roblox, you're gonna to go to versions a version whatever your latest version is so the latest date open it and then after you open it you guys are going to want to right click in the empty space press new create a folder and name it client settings just like that once you guys open the folder you're going to need to drag this file in there that is going to be in the description the file will look a little something like this if you have numbers after it you really need to get rid of it because if you don't it's not going to work so it has to look like this when you press alt and enter if your screen flickers like black, that means it's off. And if it doesn't flicker black when you press it, that means it's on. That being said, whenever it's on, your game will feel a whole lot better. All right, so now we're going to be moving on from the Roblox side of optimizations. So the first thing you're going to want to do is turn off Xbox Game Bar. What you have to do is go to search, type Xbox Game Bar, and there should be something that says enable Xbox Game Bar. When you open it, you will get something like this. Make sure everything is turned off because it will improve your performance if you have it off. All right, moving on, we go to capture. Make sure everything is off here as well. So it doesn't try to capture anything with whatever it is, bro. I don't know, just more performance good. Game mode, make sure that's off. It says it optimizes your PC, but it really doesn't help. Moving on from that, click graphic settings up here and then hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You're going to want to have that off, even though it is kind of 50 50. Some people do say to have it on, but it's just safe to keep it off. So right here, I have choose an app to set preference. I'm not sure if this works, but if you select a Roblox, you might get better performance. I'm not too sure about that one. The next thing you're going to want to turn off is notifications. So you're going to go to your search and type notifications, notifications and action settings. Make sure everything is turned off. Moving on from that, you're going to want to go to focus assist and make sure this is off as well. And then we're going to move to power and sleep. Go to additional power settings on the right and then click high performance. If it's not here, it might be in a little drop down thing and like additional plans and click high performance. After you turn on high performance, go to change plan settings and then press change advanced power settings. We got a window that looks a little bit like this. Go to wireless adapter settings power saving mode and turn it to maximum performance and then after that go to pci express link state power management 
and then turn it off. Those are all good PC optimizations that will help you get more frames in Roblox and any game. So next, you're gonna make sure that your drivers are up to date for your graphics card. All right, so for me, I have NVIDIA, so I have to use GeForce Experience to see if my drivers are up to date. As you can see, there actually is a new driver and it released just today. So after this video, I'm gonna go ahead and download it and yeah, just make sure your drivers are up to date so your PC is performing as best as it can. After you guys do all of that, you're gonna wanna go to search, type adjust the appearance and then something like this should come up. You're gonna wanna click it and then you're gonna wanna click adjust for best performance. I have mine on custom because I have a few things that I actually like about Windows, but if you guys want the best performance, click adjust for best performance, click apply, then press okay. All right, so this tip is exclusive to NVIDIA users only. So if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, you might wanna skip this section of the video. Right click in your desktop, click NVIDIA control panel. Once you guys have it open, go to manage 3D settings and then copy the settings that I have for best performance. Alrighty, moving on to the next step. For this one, you need Roblox open for it. So go to details and then look for your Roblox. All right, I found my Roblox right here and the one that is using the most memory is the one you're going to want to right click. Once you right click it, you're going to want to go to set priority and click high. After you change it to high, go to set affinity and turn off CPU zero. Now your frames will just go up a whole lot more and your PC will actually utilize its CPU. As you can see, I am getting 700, 800 FPS right now. That is absolutely absurd. Moving on to the final thing, we're gonna be turning off startup apps. So you're gonna wanna go to search and then type up startup apps right here. And then you're gonna wanna just turn off everything that you find useless and things that could be hindering your performance whenever you turn on your PC. So the things that I have on are things that are essential to me that I need whenever I open up my computer. All right, guys, that is gonna be the end of the video. I hope this did help you guys out. And if it did, leave a comment down below. And yeah, thank you. Subscribe, leave a like. Peace, guys. Thanks.